Okay, so you've got the uh, Temptation card or the Devil card over here. Uh, it's talking about feeling a bit restricted, you know, trying uh, to get out of a situation, even making a decision about trying to leave uh, a situation that's uh, feeling very restrictive for you. You've got that key over there, so this person, you can see, is almost in two minds about it. You've got two heads over there. Uh, and maybe some information has come to light uh, that has offered you a key and uh, a solution to whatever problem you've been going through. But all in all, you've been feeling very restricted, very tied up, and feeling very, very negative about whatever has been going on. You've been trying to get your balance back over there. So, uh, you know, this is the hangman card in this particular... Oh, no, sorry. This is the... Um, the Justice card, really, uh, trying to get that balance back over there uh, in um, in your life, and uh, it seems like you know you've been getting some kind of divine uh, intervention or divine help coming in for you over there. So you are being guided on how to actually sort things out, um, trying to get things um, you know back on track again uh, with this balance card over here. So you could also be waiting for some kind of legal decision to come in over there. And maybe this is the thing that has got you feeling very negative. Maybe whatever that legal decision is brings in a lot of enlightenment as well with that temptation card. Uh, you know, you can see that, you know, it comes in almost like a bolt from the blue, whatever that information is that come in, it comes in. And uh, maybe that even upsets the balance that you are, have been trying to achieve as well. You are using all your skills. You can see all this, this person has all the uh, um, you know skills in at hand to sort out whatever you're going through. So you are uh, you know completely uh, you know trying to sort things out by using all your um, talents, everything that you had. You're using a lot of energy to think about it and get control of that particular situation and achieve that balance. But it looks like there's some kind of information that has come to light or something that has happened that's caused quite a bit of disruption, but it's also get, got you feeling very negative uh, and, you know, very restricted and very tied up. You're trying to express yourself. You've got the throat chakra being um, activated over here, so you are focusing on trying to talk uh, your way out of a situation or you're trying to express how you feel about it. And you're taking control in that kind of way, so you're not letting anybody walk all over you. You are standing up for yourself and you are taking control of that situation. So whatever that problem is, uh, you need to vocalize. It's got a five over there that is talking about communicating quite openly and you know maybe you're dealing with a lot of um, disruptive energies around you. So this is talking about you know using... Um, your throat chakra being activated, express yourself, express how you feel, speak your truth really with that throat chakra. Now in the past you've got the nine, which is the material harvest. This is about being very financially independent and you know, things have been happening. It looks like money has been coming in that work that you have been doing. You've been working very independently, but it's also been paying off and prosperity has come to you over there. You've got that something that you've been working on has started to grow and generate fruit. It means that, you know, prosperity has been coming. So you've been very work focused, uh, especially over the last year. And it seems like things are starting to pay off at the moment. Now, going to the future, you've got the six, uh, which is the harmony card over here. So, uh, you know, this is like the lover's card. Um, so this is about, uh, you know, a lot of tranquility coming into your life, maybe a decision that you need to make. But there could also be a new relationship that comes in with this harmony card over here, a very soulmate connection that comes in. And it gives you a lot of hope for the future over there. So, you know, this is the star card. This is being guided. Um, and it looks like whatever that relationship is, it might be very karmic. And it might be something that the universe is saying sending you as a gift for all the hard work and effort that you've been put into. So, um, you know, this is about making plans as well for the future. So you could be meeting somebody and making plans with them, uh, you know, getting into a very, very committed relationship and something that is very connected as well. So those are the energies for that week. So I'm going to draw some cards from the uh, Tower of Dreams. I have shuffled this deck. So the first card that fell is the Devil. It's like the first card that fell for the energy read was the Devil. Um, okay, let's see. So.
Okay, so the bottom of the deck, you've got the hanging man. So you are waiting for something uh, to happen. You haven't uh, really done anything. Your hands seem to be tied up. You don't seem to know exactly how to proceed forward. This card also talks about, you know, uh, seeing things from a different angle. Now, it's card ruled by Neptune. So there are things that are hidden over here. Something has not come to light yet. And you're waiting for that information to come to light. Uh, you can see this man's got the sun on his back over here. So you are waiting for something to come out. Uh, maybe you're waiting for a decision to be made or you're waiting uh, and all that information that you need to in order for you to move forward has not become available yet this is also about you know divine timing in the sense that you have to wait for that to come in the hanging man also speaks about making some kind of sacrifice there's something that you have to give up in order for you to move forward so letting go of something in order for you to move forward uh, it seems to be uh, where you're going at the moment but there's a lot of information uh, that you um, that needs to come to light before you can make that big decision you also feel that you know whatever sacrifices you made um, may not be paying off as well with that hanging man so you know this is about having spiritual insight getting spiritual clarity that needs to come in um and the card below it is the hermit card so you have been spending a lot of time by yourself and maybe this is how the insights are coming in uh, making those sacrifices spending a lot of time by yourself focusing on your work and here you've got that light as well so it looks like you know you are waiting for some kind of information some kind of thing that you've been doing even research on uh, but spending a lot of time by yourself both these cards have got single people in it and you know being um, you know maybe you feel as though your world is a little bit upside down so uh, making sacrifices and spending a lot of time by yourself now, what's happening with you? You've got the Devil card, which is your card. It's a card ruled by Capricorn, and it's got the Queen of Coins crossing it. So, in this card, you can see the cage door is opening over here. So, where you've been feeling very negative and very restricted, it looks like that is coming to an end. You need to uh, let yourself free of that situation in order for you to become this Queen of Pentacles. So, there's something that you are not doing um, or you are preventing yourself from moving forward. It seems like this cage door is open, but you're allowing yourself to be stuck in a situation where you can actually release yourself from it. Uh, you know, maybe you're trying to control that situation too much and it's time to let go of it in order for you to get your financial independence. So there might be somebody that you need to let go of. You may need to, you know, let go of that situation completely, walk away from it, you know, um, Maybe sacrifice that relationship in a sense in order for you to move forward and get that financial independence. It looks like, you know, you are getting control. You are taking control. Things are going to be looking up, but you are still feeling very, very negative about whatever is going on. And maybe you feel like that situation is manipulating you quite a bit or somebody is still trying to manipulate you from a distance there with that devil card. Now, in the past, you've got the nine of coins over here. It looks like there's financial independence that came in for you. So, you know, this looks like there might be a promotion because you've got that uh, nine of coins going to the queen of coins. So where you've started off with that nine of coins, getting your financial independence, working uh, you know, and your recognition. It looks like to become that queen of coins, you're going to have to let go of something, uh, you know, break free from that negativity or break free from that energy in order for you to be, in, um, you know, to get that promotion to uh, or for you to um, uh, rise up that uh, career ladder for you to get. So from going from nine to the queen is some kind of promotion coming in, uh, an influx of money. The queen of coins is about, um, it's a money card. So in order for you to improve your finances, there's something that you will need to let go of, some kind of negative energy or break free from that kind of energy. Now you've got that seven of uh, cups over there. So there's a decision that has been that you have to make, a choice. And this looks like it's on the work front as well because there's a lot of cups over here. You've got that queen of coins over here. Uh, this is showing that, you know, there's some kind of decision you have to make about the work situation. You've got Venus here in uh, Scorpio. So, um, you know, you are feeling very negative or very pressurized by whatever is going on. But in order for you to move forward, research things very, very carefully and try and make that decision based on that. You're still waiting for things. So maybe you're waiting for some kind of information before you make that decision. Now, you are trying to manifest. You've got the Magician card over here, and this is a Mercury card. This is about multitasking, so you've probably been very, very busy at the moment. And you've been using all your skills and talents in order for you to uh, achieve. Uh, the Magician is starting something brand new because it's a number one card. So you have been starting something or you want to start something and you know you are uh, you're pretty much um, trained up for that particular job and you're trying to bring that into your reality. And you know that once you do that, you'll be able to generate a lot of finances as well. Now, what's going on? You've got the five of coins over here. So you're feeling a bit... Um, 
unsupported at this particular moment. It's all, you know, because it's got a mercury there in Taurus, you are feeling, uh, you're not feeling very confident about your finances as well. You're feeling as though, you know, you still have to hang on to it. There was some kind of big loss that you faced. You're trying to, uh, you know, um, maybe recuperate your losses that you went through with this five of coins. Uh, and maybe, you know, um, it's, it's all about mindset. So you need to stop thinking about it in a negative sort of way and you start, have to start thinking about positivity. And that's how you're going to be able to attract abundance because it looks like money is going to be coming in for you. Uh, and, you know, you might need to actually ha ask for some assistance or some kind of help in order for you to move forward. It might not be in the form of financial help, but if you do ask for financial help, you will receive it. Uh, it also might be, you know, uh, help with uh, somebody giving you some advice, something of worth that of value that you um, can use in order for you to move forward. So there's something that's missing uh, that you need to um, get, some kind of information that needs to come to light uh, in order for you to use it in order for you to move forward. But you are feeling very unsupported, feeling very lonely, feeling very left out in the cold, if you like, with that five of coins. So it looks like there's a new job offer coming in for you and it might be travel. And maybe this is the sacrifice that you have to make with that hangman about leaving your old job or leaving where you live now and moving on to something brand new. And maybe that's why you're agonizing about whether or not you should be making that decision. The Knight of Wands is a decision coming in very quickly. You have to make that decision very quickly and it could involve travel or moving away from this uh, job that you have been doing. You're very worried about money as well at the moment. You've got the Nine of Swords over here, so you are very, very stressed out. This is a card of high anxiety, uh, you know, overthinking the situation, expecting the worst uh, case scenario to happen. And that is what you're worried about. You can see that those two cards are almost next to each other. So you are thinking a lot about money. You're almost very, very focused on, on, on that kind of energy, uh, you know, worrying about that money and that loss that you're going through. And it looks like this new job is coming in, so you're going to have to make a decision pretty quickly. Now, on your hopes and fear, you've got the Two of Cups. This is also about making a decision, uh, deciding which is going to be better for you. And it might be about home a home move because you've got cancer on this card. Venus in Cancer, this might be even buying a new home. So you might may need to make some kind of big life-changing move uh, in order for you to uh, achieve. And this is worrying you quite a bit. It's stressing you out quite a bit. So going into the future, you've got the Ten of Wands, the Sun card, and the Nine of Wands. So this is all about work and working very, very hard and being very, very stressed out and dealing with a lot of problems. Saturn is the planet of restriction, so you are feeling very restricted. Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter. Um, it looks like, you know, uh, you have been very limited in whatever you've been doing and it, it's got you down. You've been working your butt off, really. You've got a lot of burdens. You're carrying a lot of burdens, a lot of responsibilities. But that cycle is now coming to an end because it, it is the 10. Uh, but you also need to delegate if that's what you're doing because, you know, it can make you rather ill um, from stress illnesses. You've got the sun card as well. This is showing about working very, very long hours. You are achieving success. Um, you know, it's not come uh, rapidly but it is coming your way and a lot of control you're working to a lot of deadlines as well uh, but it looks like it's uh, you know um, and this is probably where that stress is coming out uh, for you so it looks like you will achieve uh, it's just a little longer um, because you've got that nine of wands over here so whatever problems you're dealing with whatever you're dealing with is now about to end uh, there will be success in it you just got to hang in there just, you know, a little longer. Uh, it's the last leg of it because it's the nine of wands. It looks like you're almost there, but you're still carrying a lot of uh, responsibilities. And it's climbing up the ladder of success, really, for you. There might be some travel coming in. You've got that Sagittarius and the moon over there. So there's some travel that's involved in your work. But it looks like you just need to hang in there and you will be able to conquer. Achievement will come, especially with that sun card. So you're coming to the close of something very difficult that you're going through on your work life. Um, and it looks like, uh, you know, you're still very very, very stressed out about it uh, as well with that nine of swords you need to take a little bit of a break and try not to be too negative about things uh, it looks like you know achievement is coming your way success is coming your way because you've got that queen of coins over there and this is the card of achievement money wealth success leadership coming in for you and whatever you're doing now although it seems really burdensome and that you're putting a lot of effort and hard work into it it's just a little longer uh, it's you know you're almost there so just hang in there really so I'm just going to draw some cards from the Animal Tarot. 
So it looks like you've got the Dreamer card over here, which is the Fool card. You are starting a new adventure. Run free and take that leap of faith. So it looks like things are starting to change for you once all of this is ending, or the cycle of hard work is ending, and brand new beginnings, transformation, and moving on. Now you've got this dog jumping over this water from one landmass to the other. So you might be actually traveling, moving on, or even relocating to do this particular job, making a fresh start somewhere else. You've got that Eight of Autumn over here, so it's a perfect time to uh, learn all you can by returning to school. Do the best work and the law of attraction will bring you prosperity and advancement. So there might be uh, a need to go back to the books uh, to uh, improve your skill set. Um, you know, you're coming, you're getting your freedom. You've got that cage door open over here, but you looks, it looks like you're going to be focused a lot on study or learning something brand new with that Eight of Autumn. And that's going to be the thing that brings in uh, that success. And you've got the Lover's Card over here, which is talking about uh, long-lasting love finds its way into your heart. Um, but this is also about choice. So there might be some kind of big decision that you have to make. This could also be a relationship that's coming in for you that's going to transform your life quite a bit. Uh, for the most part, the Lovers card used to always be about choice, deciding which one is the best uh, route for you to follow. So it looks like all of this hard work and you know there might be a career choice that you might be making pretty soon. And, you know, it might be involved, this this work might be involved um, relocating to start a new job somewhere else. The decision will have to be made quickly, but don't be rash. Make sure, sure you're thinking about it very carefully, very clearly before you make that decision. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.